Come again, eh? Where is it going? I have a strange feeling that cat wants us to follow it. It stopped. For me? Ha, oh, you shouldn't have. Look at him, he looks like he's standing guard. That, or he's still petrified after everything that's happened. Yeah, I guess they do have a pretty keen sense of danger, don't they? <laughs> Look at him, he looks like he's standing guard. That, or he's still petrified after everything that's happened. Yeah, I guess they do have a pretty keen sense of danger, don't they? Listen, okay? I never said I'd help you. With anything. Ever. Got that? I... I'm sorry. I just... I got carried away, I suppose. Look. Let me take you to one last place. Fuck no. Come on, please. I'm not sure he's gonna take no for an answer. <sighs> one look at whatever the hell it is. And I'm out. Thank you so, so much! Come on, it's this way. Wait, wh what the hell is this? Thank you so much for saving the city! Oh, Mom said we're not supposed to talk to you, but... But you helped us. Thank you, Frey. They've been wanting so badly to show you how grateful they are. Uh, I... It was nothing. That's not true. And you know it. We're all in your debt. Me included. Wait, is... Is this why you came and found me in the first place? Pilo! You'd better not let me find you slacking off, you little runt. Oh, no! Where the heck are you? Get here! Now! Oh, no! It's the boss! Sorry, Frey. I have got to go. What an excitable young man. You know, I've never gotten flowers before. And let's hope it never happens again, shall we? <sighs> there was a dear, sweet young girl. Used to come here, you know. Name of Olivia. <laughs> Such a bright spark. Right on to Zyla. Why? You really do have the magic touch. I swear I've seen it before somewhere. Hmm. The cat that was just here? 
Oh, yes, I know it. Poor wretched creature was all little Olivia had. You think it's waiting for her to come back? I hope not. Putting your faith in humans is a great way to guarantee disappointment. Hey, it's not like she wanted to leave him behind, asshole. All right, all right. I'm sorry I spoke. The cat that was just here? There was a dear, sweet young girl. Used to come here, you know. Name of Olivia. <laughs> Such a bright spark. A real breath of fresh air she was. And then... <sighs> Why, Tante Silo? Why? The next stage of the plan will require... You? What are you still doing in Sepal? You will not escape Tanta Sila's wrath, you know. Her enemies receive no quarter. None. Is she from Prenost? Seems rather keen on Sila. Hmm. Maybe she can tell us more about her. She is the Tanta of Strength. Blessed with the power to fortify both mind and body. That sounds tricky to deal with. And her gifts do not end there. She is a leader under whose unflinching discipline whole armies cower. Her mere presence on the battlefield is enough to strike terror into the hearts of her enemies. Okay, I get it. She's one stone cold badass bitch. You trespassed upon her realm. You are a threat, and as such, are not to be tolerated. Just because I walked over some imaginary line? Shit, should have brought a passport. There is no just when it comes to trespass on sacred ground, girl. Especially not when the ground in question belongs to one so powerful. It was your fault the city was attacked. Tanta Sila wished only to drive out the threat. And she clearly wasn't the only one. She was hard on others, but no harder than she was on herself. Beneath that stern exterior lies a warmer heart. Her desire to protect the people of Athia. This is what drives her. Protect? Is that what you call smashing shit up and killing people? What use is there in talking to one as corrupted as you? Sorry I asked. Why do I even care who she is or who she used to be? She killed Olivia. That's all that matters. As long as you remain, the city remains in danger. Tanta Sila may yet be forced to destroy us all. You must go to her, and be punished for your crimes. Oh, I'll go to her all right. And when I find her, she's dead. over the moon. 
I need to ask Bob about those Tyrannus. Well, shall Thanks. Got quite a collection going on. Do come again. Hello there. Can I get you something? Why not try your luck again tomorrow? Is it true you mean to face Tantus Sila on your own? I must say, you look like a girl with a death. No. Did the Cognizance Guild really collapse? Just think how much priceless knowledge must have been lost. The other guilds remain standing, of course, but for how no. long? Why are you still in Sepal, chap? We allowed you to go free only because you said you would go to Tantasila yourself. I would advise you not to go back on your word. Wait, is that Olivia's name? Among others, yes. 
This is a record of those who perished. Rather a morbid thing to be jotting down, don't you think? Your recklessness resulted in the deaths of many innocents. My recklessness? I wasn't the one who almost got Auden killed. Better to lose one life than countless others. Or do you disagree? Is that what you wanted to hear? Good. I guess since you're such a believer, you won't mind being the one making the sacrifice next time. I... Yeah. Now if you're done preaching. Look, let me make it simple for you. Sila's going down. And no one is getting sacrificed. Least of all me. I have to say, I'm not hugely convinced by the people in charge around here. With that kind of attitude, they'll have sacrificed the whole city before long. Don't get me started. What are they doing? If I had to guess, I'd say they're offering up prayers to the dead. Doesn't look like praying's done much for Athia so far. Well, the habits of a lifetime are hard to break. And who can blame them for seeking a little solace after all they've lost? Yeah, guess you're right. change anything now, but I still wish I could have spoken to you one last time. You. I know still I still wish I could have spoken to you one last time.
Let's see. Flighty little creature. Worth chasing it down, perhaps? Stopped. Aw, is this for me? were ruined. And my dad said if we didn't have any grain, we'd all starve to death. Please, you've got to stop this at once. Sounds like trouble. Huh. Yo, what's going on here? The Robian's trying to desecrate a lovely old ballow tree. He's, uh, got himself a mind worked up. And the bloomers too! We tried to explain to him that he can't just run amok in the grove like this. That there is our last fellow. All right, just cut him some slack, okay? He's been living in the break for the past 20 years. He's just taking some time to adjust. He'll be back to himself soon. Mm. You keep telling yourself that. Father! Father! It's Odin. Odin? Odin, my dear girl, what are you doing here? I was supposed to see you there. I cannot see you there if you are here. It's all right. I will take you there, and we will be there together. Apologies. <laughs> be a good man, Sir Robian, and hand it over. Please, Father, give it to them. Please. Thank you. We'll take it from here. Just make sure that he doesn't. He won't. You have my word. Oh, God. I'm such a fool. You are no fool. I believe in you. I told them you wouldn't harm the tree, but I never said that I wouldn't. Now is our chance. Once again, breaking the law. I don't do it proudly. But all I do is for Athia. And if my father believes this could help, then I believe it too. Hey, Bob. Strange young girl from another world. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, have your notes on the portals. Uh, the Tirana. Ooh, my. He's much worse than I believed. Forgive me. My mind's a, a, a little wibbly-wobbly, wobbly-wibbly. Um, Vush? Huh? Vush? 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 <laughs> yes, Vush! I need a Vush back home, where I came from, after I killed this crazy lady. If I survive... You will. I will go back home, or I will kill the crazy lady? One or the other? Maybe both? Maybe neither? Ugh. Oh, 
supposed to know. Sounds promising. Yes. Yes, yes, I promise. I will work on making you vush. You have my word. Mm, terrific. The word of a senile old has been ironclad. Great. What am I doing in the grove? Let's get you home. Audi! Yes. Uh, Come on. I'll catch you guys later. Hey, Cuff. Speaking of Bob, how come he didn't turn into a zombie? He came right through the break with us. I'd say he was mostly break zombie already, wouldn't you? Strange how Auden seems to love Bob so much. Strange? Why? Well, I don't exactly think the world of my parents. I guess being left on your own for years doesn't hit everybody the same way. Then why should it? Humans are horrendously complex creatures, after all. Olivia. Apparently knew the kid, but she just stuck with me. She had fire. And now it's been extinguished. Somebody has to pay. Let us proceed to the archives, then. It's in the upper city, right? What's with this weird tree? Interestingly, I don't think it looks like that because of the break. This blue glow? What's that about? The essence of life distilled, if some are to be believed. Might I suggest learning a little more about Scylla before we depart? about Serobian, I... Actually, it's about everything. The city, too. We... We owe you our thanks. Had you not been here, who knows how many more would have suffered? I... Could have done more. Please. I know you are in pain. But you must not lose heart. The bard at the square, Wallace. Do you know him? He may be a frivolous, nonsensical sort of person, but his talent is undeniable. Perhaps a tune might do you good. Truly, his music has the power to soothe the soul. <sighs> Wait, you're not telling me she's... Really? That foppish nonsense? No, no, of course not. My feelings are not... I... I mean, of course I... Oh, never mind. 
His music gives me a certain courage, that's all. A sense that it may not be altogether foolish to hope for a brighter tomorrow. Wow, I guess I'll have to listen harder. You plan to face Tantasila, do you not? Those of my line have long been her most faithful protectors. Though such a legacy is no longer one to speak of with pride. Take care. She is not to be trifled with. The dutiful sword maiden and the foppish bard, eh? What a pair. Yeah, it's like the plot of a corny romance novel. Let's just move our asses and get this done. Yes, let's. Huh. You're not really going after Tanta Sila, are you? We cannot leave the city yet. How are we to defeat an enemy we know nothing of? Sila didn't come as far as the pasture. Huh. A cat. What's the plan then? Stopped.
For me? Ha, oh, you shouldn't have. Just the key. So these are the archives. Catch! Whoa! What is this? And who are you? I'm the archivist. Auden tell me you were clever. How do you not know what a book is? No, I know what a book is. Ah, 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 ah. You don't look like an archivist. You don't look like a hero. That's because I'm not. I used to be a blacksmith before. Built weapons for the very woman that raided our city. She and I were quite close. She trusted me, and I trusted her. Sorry. No matter, it was another time. She was another woman, as was I. <coughs> Keep up! Is everybody in this town batshit crazy? Okay, so how do you go from a blacksmith to a librarian? Archivist! And a smart woman knows when to shift her purpose for the needs of her people. Catch! What is this? It's the floor plan of Silas Castle. Uh, what are you, my fairy godmother? <laughs> <sighs> name's Johedi. You're the one that's planning on facing off with Sila. Well, the name's Frey, and it sounds like you don't think I'm up to the task. Tanta Sila is the strongest and most formidable of all the Tantas. She controlled the army, crushing the weak, even without the weapons that I forged for her. Crushing them with her bare hands. I'm beginning to have second thoughts about this. These batty old Harridan needs to shut her mouth. You will be doing our land a great service by killing her. Rid us of Tanta Sila, and the corruption in her realm will stop spreading. No. I doubt you'll actually succeed. Before you go, I would suggest that you learn all that you can about the Tantas. The archives, full of books about them. Definitely not my fairy godmother.
So they used to rule Athia, and people used to like them. Yes, although you'd never guess that now. You're here to read, you say? Oh, I, I'm sorry, it's just no one in Sipal has any interest in books these days. Can't say I envy these people. Their rulers did some super fucked up shit. I doubt many of them would disagree. Wait, it was the Tauntas who caused the break? What the hell happened to them? I think more than a few of their former subjects came to wonder the same thing. That thing we read, it was written by the first ever Tanta. And it sounds like there might still be more of them to find. Wouldn't hurt to learn more. Guess we could keep an eye out. So, the Tantas had superpowers that they used to keep Athia safe. And the people loved them for it. Worshipped them, even. But then, something changed. Instead of protecting the people, they started making them suffer. And then the break appeared. An admirably pithy pricey. But it doesn't make any sense. Why would they just go crazy like that? That's enough for now. Think I'm pretty clued up on the Tanta basics. Then I suggest we depart. There's a sort of surface presentability to these people, but they're all a little scruffy around the edges. Who thinks about fashion at a time like this? Those who want to escape reality, I'd imagine. The buildings here are something else. Yes. Anything else? Hurry up if you're still not done with what you need to do here.
Onward, ever onward. Do we have a choice? <laughs> Look at him, he looks like he's standing guard. That, or he's still petrified after everything that's happened. Yeah, I guess they do have a pretty keen sense of danger, don't they? Children, come back. I haven't... I suppose you saw that. They just will not listen to me. Something tells me he gets that a lot. The children of Athia place no value on their education. None. The blame is not entirely theirs, of course. My teachings will not fill their bellies. Not today, at any rate. But if they do not learn to think of tomorrow, if they would only let me teach them... But no. They will not hear a word of it. Can't really blame them. They've been through a lot. None save dear Olivia, that is. Poor child. She at least was kind enough to listen. Had I only been able to teach her to read, I am sure her love of learning would have blossomed. You mean they can't even read? Maybe you could, I don't know, start with some simple rhymes or something? Yes. What a fine idea. I could certainly do worse than try. Thank you. The gift of wisdom is a precious one indeed. I will experiment with the method you suggest. Now, if you will excuse me. Wandering the city, dispensing insights, hither and yon. I may have to revise my opinion of you, Frey. I wasn't exactly trying to inspire the guy, but I'll take it. The cat. Was just here? Oh yes, I know it. Oi! Miss! Huh? My friend told me you have a strange glowing object you keep in your pocket. An ob- Oh. You mean this? <sighs> what is that? Uh, it's called a smartphone. Um, uh, how do I put this? It's like a, a thing that lets you talk to people far away, or uh, turn what you see into pictures. Whoa! Does that mean it could turn what you see into pictures of outside support? Yeah, I guess. I've only seen drawings of the outside in books. Could you... could you bring us pictures? I don't see why not. Just don't expect too much, okay? I I'm not a great photographer. I don't know what that is, but thank you. I'm so excited. Okay, so maybe not not worth crap. Not really a big camera person, to be honest. I'm pretty sure they'd be delighted with anything you show them. It's not like they have much else to look forward to. Perhaps it wouldn't be so bad to stop by on occasion, lend them a little cheer. You're right. It won't cost me much, and I bet it would mean a lot to them. Are you ready then? Yeah. Time to go kill that bitch.
We have a long journey ahead of us. I suggest we make our way to the fortress first. It's not too far from the castle. You really do know everything, don't you? No. I simply happen to have looked at the map. miss the commotion when there's no one around, don't you? Believe me, there's plenty of commotion all by yourself. Hmm. Might as well pocket this. There's solid ground somewhere under there, somewhat break tainted, but you can't hurt everything. Guess we don't have much choice. Wonder how long this thing's been here. Certainly longer than you've been alive. <clears throat> Thinking of making something? Study of miracles. It appears to be an in-depth analysis of what makes the Tunter's magic so powerful.
I wonder if you might learn something from it. Pick up some tips and tricks for your own magic, perhaps. Yeah, maybe. I could use the help. <laughs>